What's up, everybody? It's George Assassin here again for another episode of Assassin's Weekend Review Podcast. Um, this week, we're going to start out with the UWE Renegade Show. Um, again, this week was really well done. Another awesome show by Whitby over at United Wrestling Entertainment. Um, got a few things to go over um, pretty good week a uh, whole lot happened actually I mean there was some there was some, pro- some surprises and everything this week I wasn't expecting um, so what we'll do is, is I want to give Whitby a big thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to to do this. Without the UWE, it wouldn't be possible. Um, I'd like to thank all the sponsors. Uh, there is a few new ones. Uh, there's Sniper Popsicles, I believe. Um, there's some new BJ... BJ Hoggers Hot Dogs um, I think there was one more I can't remember off the top of my head Sorry about that I'll have to uh, I'll have to get my sponsor list up Before next week But thanks to those guys For supporting the podcast um, So let's let's get this week started Um uh, we had a surprise at the beginning of the show. The Shrooms released a new song um, called Sasquatch. Uh, it was it was debuted on UWE this week. Pretty awesome that they released a new song. Um, you can catch that at the beginning of the the replay over at the you know UWE Network. Um, we had a, I think we had two two dark matches. Um, we had a debut of El Nino um, versus Sasquatch. Um, does everybody know Sasquatch is no joke? Um, I think we be said he usually eats an average of five people a day, um, and by the looks of El Nino, you know that. That was just two by itself. Um, Sasquatch entered the match, pretty much just squashed El Nino. It wasn't even, wasn't even a match, um, which we all pretty much figure that Sasquatch usually just does his job and and leaves. And that was the case here. Sasquatch picks up the W in that match. Um, second match was Johnny Sniper versus Crusher. Uh, Crusher been really impressive lately and picks up the W over Johnny Sniper. Um, good win by Crusher. Next match of the night, we went on to the main card. Uh, the card was really, really well done. Really good matches. Um, first match of the night, we had GA versus D Rod. Uh, D Rod. <laughs> I don't know how he survived this match. Um, GA, he came into this match with with one mindset, and I think that was just to hurt D-Rod. Um, I think he threw D-Rod out of the ring three times. Um, D-Rod's face was just bloodied up. You couldn't even see his eyes. It, it, it was a pretty, pretty ruthless match. Um, but even through all that, um, GA just couldn't come away with a win. And D-Rod picks up the W. In an impressive win. Um, it's a really good match by D Rod. Um, second match of the night, we had Wick versus Shane Williams. Uh, not really sure what was going on with Shane, but he just wasn't really all there. Not taken away from Wick. They both, it was a really good match, but Shane just didn't look like he was. He was there to put on a match. Um, Wick Villa comes away with the W in that one. Um, so congrats to Wick on that win. Um, following that match, we had um, a 
Crossy and Matt promo, um, which led to Crossy pretty much just beating the crap out of Matt. Uh, left Matt laying in the ring, I believe. Um, Crossy over the past few weeks has been a thorn in Matt's side. Anytime that rabbit's around, Matt just just can't can't function. It's like Crossy's in his head and. Anytime Crossy comes around or something, Matt just stinks it up and and just can't can't pick up a W. Um, following that promo, we had an actual Crossy versus Matt versus Ghost match. Now, Ghost the past few weeks has had these two guys as number. Um, Ghost is on a pretty impressive roll this the past few weeks and tonight that and that night he picks up another W against Matt and Crossy um not sure if the Crossy and Matt rivalry had an impact on this match um and you know that probably benefited Ghost but Ghost walks away with a W again against these two guys so congrats to Ghost on that um, next match of the night, we had a debut of Brian Williams against the United States champ in the UWE, Laker Taker. Uh, some some people say it's Candice. Um, by watching the, the show, to me it doesn't look like Candice. Uh, some mysterious woman came out to ringside with Brian Williams, which is surprising. Why would Brian Williams have Candace as a manager if that is Candace? Um, that that's something to, that we'll have to keep an eye on in the future. Is this this mysterious woman at ringside? But an impressive debut by Brian Williams. He picks up the W against a W against the UWE United States Champion. Um, really, really good debut um, way to make a statement in your first match so congratulations to Brian Williams on that W um, following that match we had Pimp Gatlin no idea who this guy is um, he comes out to the ring to do to talk and he calls out Pee Wee um, from what we're speculating is Pimp Gatlin is wanting to manage Pee Wee and get Pee Wee's career back on track um, or he could just be trying to recruit Pee Wee to throw Pee Wee on a corner somewhere and make a few bucks off of him I'm not really sure but Pee Wee wasn't having it and attacks Pimp Gatlin in the ring during the promo you know, Not sure if that was the smart thing by Pee Wee. Um, but we'll have to wait and see later on what becomes of this. If Pee Wee finally accepts Gatlin as his manager or or what Gatlin does to retaliate against Pee Wee. Um, be interesting to see how this turns out. So if you you know, just keep your eyes on the corner if we see Pee Wee standing on the corner somewhere, you know, you know Gatlin finally finally got his wish and we'll know his reasoning behind trying to manage Pee Wee. Um next match of the night we had Natural Born Enemies, Tonto and Donnie. Versus Dead Men Walking. Now I thought Dead Men Walking would have picked up the win in this. Was, I mean, you got Dead Men Walking that's just been on fire. You got Third Gunman that isn't a slouch. Um, which nothing taking anything away from Natural Born Enemies. I mean, they got the UWE champ Tonto and his midget friend Donnie Havoc, um, but. They've both been really impressive also. Um, so calling that calling a winner in this match was pretty hard for the podcast. Um but Natural Born Enemies again picks up the win 
over dead men walking so congratulations to them um, immediately following this match we had a surprise um, money in the bank cash in by tater tot uh, really threw me off cause you know money in the bank for UWE has been a while ago um, not sure if anybody even remembered that tater tot was holding that briefcase but immediately following that tag match Tater runs in, catches in the briefcase, and we have a UWE World Title match. Happened right then, just after Tonto finishes the tag match against Dead Man Walking. Um, but somehow Tonto hangs on and spoils Tater Tot's cash in dreams and picks up the W over Tater Tot. Um, so congratulations to Tonto on retaining this UWE title. Uh, really impressive. Um, like I said, really good card by UWE this week. Uh, I think the next show we got is Gauntlet or Unconquered. Um, so really looking forward to that card. Should be another impressive week. Um, UWE hasn't hasn't faltered in putting on impressive shows since their return. Uh, I've got a few things I reached out to Wick via this week to get some 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 thoughts and some rumors and everything for the upcoming UWE. Um, all he had to say was, is, you know, things were things got heated last week on the UWE roster, and that this week. There will be more of the same um, with the UWE. You know, here at the podcast, we we expect nothing less of that. Um, he also brought up with Pee Wee listen to Pimp Gatlin. Um, like I said earlier, that's going to be an interesting thing to to see what happens in the future. Um, he also brought up will anything come out of the war words between the upstarts of Grimm and Crusher uh, they've been pretty pretty much at each other this past week um, be interesting to see who puts up or shuts up in that little rivalry there um, after Tater Tots failed cash in where will his focus be now um, that's, that's, that's hard to say we just have to wait and see what how Tater responds and where his thoughts are now um, he also brought up that Tonto, Demi, Walken and D-Rod now find themselves staring into an imminent triple threat at Call Mania and that will these three collide before the big pay-per-view um, now that's interesting there um, that would be one heck of a match to see those three square off against each other before the big pay-per-view um, be good for, I guess for for them to get a feel of how they need to go into the pay-per-view match um, it could also backfire one get injured you know, there's just so many different things that you have to factor in by having that big of a match before the big pay-per-view match. Um, be interesting to see how we, Via handles that. Um, also, he brought up that new tag team were trying to knock off the Walking Dead and Natural Born Enemies. Um, he also said, but can they make an impact? Um, I mean, I think there was a tag team recently announced between Tater Tot and Crossy. That, if if that's a fact, um, I think we might see some things change in the tag division with those two teaming up. Um, really, really good calls in that tag team. Um, be interesting to see how the, the tag team division shapes up with those two forming an alliance and going for those tag titles um, 
not your boy and enemies and dead men walk in i think certified g's may want to open their eyes a little bit and take a look at this because i think there's some i think these this new tag team's gonna make an impact from the get-go um he said you you know all good information here um he said check out the show this week um and yes it is unconquered this thursday night so make sure to tune in this thursday on unconquered hopefully we can get some answers to some things find out who the mysterious woman is that said so-called candace but i'm not i'm not digging that um i think there's more to her than than that um, again crusher grim controversy but all their smack talk where they finally get a match to to shut the other one up pimp gatlin trying to recruit Wee tyler um a lot of things happened this week again really 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 good show by uwe uh, getting to where i expect this every week let's hope that they can keep it up um again great card congratulations to all the winners great job by you guys um I guess the next thing we would do, we'll move on to what I rated UW this week. Uh, again, I can only give UW five stars. I mean, great show. They haven't let up since the return. Surprises every week. So much going on. Every show is just filled with expectations from the podcast, and they just blow it away every week. Um, so again, this week, congratulations, UWE, five stars. Can't wait to see what you got planned for Unconquered this Thursday night. Hopefully we can, like I said, hope we can get a lot of answers answered this week, or a lot of questions answered this week. Um, so again, congratulations to UWE for five stars again this week. Um... For my re awards this week on UWE, my biggest loser this week goes out to Laker Taker, your UWE United States champion. For him to come in in a debut match and lose, granted he, Brian Williams had this mysterious Candace woman at ringside, and she. She played a role in Brian Williams' win, but still, that's, that's, for you to be U.S. champ, you shouldn't let something like that get to you. Um, so, again, my biggest loser this week on UWE is Laker Taker. My biggest winner, of course, is Brian Williams, the debut call this week, picking up the win over the United States champion. So, congratulations on to Brian Williams for picking up the W. My You Tried Award has to go to Cross M Matt this week. Uh, for them two to just can they cannot pick a win of win up over Ghost. No matter what they try. Um Ghost just has their number. Um so my again, my U Tried Award for UWE this week goes out to Crossing and Fire Trap Matt. Um keep trying maybe you'll pick that win up over ghost eventually but right now ghost just has your number be, be looking forward to that in the future uh next thing i got i actually got a howboy award for uwe now and my official howboy award goes to peewee tyler this week for attacking pimp gatlin um all pimp gatlin was trying to do was from what I understand is just trying to help Pee Wee's career to turn it around get him back on track and what does Pee Wee do he attacks Pimp Gatlin um, that's a pretty big Howboy move in my opinion so this week's official Howboy award for UWE goes out to Pee Wee Tyler um, also Pee Wee remember to 
to let the toilet seat down. I haven't forgot about you. Um, George Assassin says he hasn't forgot about your toilet seat match. Um, he says right now he just has bigger and better things to worry about than a Pee Wee Tyler match. Um, so we'll have to wait and see where that goes also. Um, so congratulations Pee Wee Tyler being on being the official Howboy Award winner. Actually, you're the first official Howboy Award winner on UWE. So, congratulations, Pee Wee Tyler, on that. Uh, last thing I'd like to bring up on the show today is we got Call Mania approaching. Um, I was able to get an official date from Week Via on that. The official date for Call Mania is Thursday, April 13th, um, and the way things are stacking up in UWE right now, this pay-per-view should blow the roof off the place, if his arena even has a roof. I think it may be outside, or it may be some other arena I'm thinking about, but the way things are looking now... Call Mania is going to be explosive. Uh, again, if UWE keeps up the way they're going now, um, Call Mania could be the pay-per-view of the year in the E-Fed business. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see how things unfold in the next few weeks on UWE. A lot of things to explain. A lot of things that need to be settled. New tag teams. How's the tag team division going to shape up? Um, Pimp Gatlin again. Interesting to see if he can finally talk some sense into Pee Wee or if Pee Wee's going to be stubborn and attack him again. Just a whole lot that needs to be answered. Um, a lot of things need to go down to fall into place, and I'm pretty sure UWE will get all that taken care of over the next few weeks. I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Um, so this has been UWE on the podcast this week. Again, I want to thank Wevia for giving me the opportunity to do this. I want to thank everybody that's a part of UWE if it wasn't for the, the superstars there wouldn't be a UWE wouldn't, nothing for, wouldn't be nothing for me to talk about um, so thank everybody that's a part of it um, again I'll have an actual official sponsorship list next week um, so Again, great show on the UWE this week. Looking forward to this Thursday. Um, so, this is Georgia Assassin for another weekend review of the UWE. Hope everyone has a great day and thank you for taking the time to tune in and listen to me ramble on very much appreciated and I hope everyone has a great day slash night wherever you may be and this is Georgia Assassin signing off see ya